All right, welcome back to the 23 morning blend. Here's a look outside at our river cam. A little hazy right now, a little cloudy, but we should see the sun start to peek out as we head more into the late afternoon hours. So if you're enjoying a day off, maybe get outside and enjoy the great outdoors. And Julie Urim with Nature at the Confluence would agree. Good morning. Thank you for having me today. Good morning. So we have had kind of an interesting spring. It's been very warm, not much rain. Has that been nice for you all? More outdoor events or how have you been coping with that? I definitely enjoy the warm weather and it's been great to be outside, but we have been needing to water our plants extra, sure. both in our vegetable garden and in our prairie, the native plants. Um, so we were super grateful for the little bit of rain that happened last week. <laughs> yes, and we need some more. So your first event that's upcoming is this community drum circle, and this is a pretty popular event with Nature at the Confluence, right? Yes, it's definitely our biggest summer series, but this Wednesday is extra special. It is the summer solstice, and it is also part of Make Music Day in Beloit. Hmm. This is the first year that the city is trying this event, but there will be musical performances at different sites throughout Beloit all day long. Uh, so at Nature at the Confluence, we're starting with a free live music performance at 4 p.m. And then at 6.30, we'll start our regular drum circle, which people are invited to participate. We have instruments folks can borrow mm. or people can bring their own. And of course, we have a fire in the middle and s'mores and kids activities. So it's a great time for folks of all ages to come and enjoy the sunset outside. So this is a free event, correct? Yes. And people can just show up, no drum needed. Yes, absolutely, and it's come and go from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Oh, okay. this Wednesday. All right, great. So free music day, that sounds, make music day, that sounds great. Yes, for more information, you can go to make music day slash Beloit, okay. um, and there's a full schedule of all the different uh, venues. Things start as early as 10 a.m., um, so it would be a great day to hang out in Beloit and catch some music. All right, perfect. And then our next event is a Friday Nature Friends event. Tell us what that is. Yeah, this is our second biggest summer series. Oh, perfect. And it <laughs> kicks off this Friday. It's in collaboration with the South Beloit Public Library. So their uh, library director comes and reads stories for kids mm. outside under our giant cottonwood tree. And then after story time, we do some type of nature activity, usually involves going on a hike, this Friday's theme is pollinators. All right. So that's aimed at kids, kids ages four to six, but uh, usually siblings come along. And um, we do try to limit the size, so we encourage people to register in advance online. Okay, but it is still free, correct? Yes, it's free thanks to a wonderful grant from the Stateline uh -huh. Community Foundation. Um, and so that's 10 to 11 a.m. this Friday, and then every Friday through the beginning of August. All right, and then our final event Bats can be creepy to people, but they are very helpful to our to our ecosystem, correct? Oh, yes, especially if you don't like mosquito bites. Exactly. Uh, we yes. really need to appreciate our local bats. Mm -hmm. So next Tuesday night, June 27th, 7 to 8.30 p.m., we have Community Science Bats. This is also for all ages, so kids are welcome, but also adults can learn something new. Mm -hmm. We'll start inside learning about the different bats that live here and why they're important and then hike out on our trails with a special device that can hear and identify the calls of bats. Oh, cool. So for those who might be weary, we won't be close to them. They won't, we won't be holding or touching them, mm -hmm. but we might, if we're lucky, see them in the sky above. So what, what is this device? Like, what does it look like? <laughs> yeah, it's small, almost like a flash drive that you plug into a tablet or a phone. Oh, cool. It's called an echo meter. And it's actually a really p cool piece of technology that allows normal people to have research-like abilities. Yeah. Um, you know, scientists use this to understand bats. It's our best way to hear their calls because our ears can't hear sure. the calls they're making. So you plug the device into the tablet. We hike with the tablet, and when that uh, Here's a bat, it pops up on the screen. This is a big brown bat. And it can identify which kind. Wow, yes. that's cool. Yeah. All right, so those three events are coming up, but if people want to come and just enjoy the Nature at the Confluence area outside of those events, when can they do that? Anytime. Trails are open daily, dawn to dusk. Um, our building is open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday, as well as Sunday afternoons. And new this summer, the echo meter, mm -hmm. if folks can't come next Tuesday but they want to try it, 
uh, they can borrow it free of cost. They just have to come in during our business hours to check out the echo meter and then come back to nature at the confluence in the evening or uh, take it to where they would like to observe bats. So we just want to make science as accessible as possible. That's great. Well, thank you, Julie. Thank you so much. Where can people find more information on Nature at the Confluence? Natureatthecomfluence.com, as well as our Facebook and Instagram is updated daily. All right. Thank you so much, Julie. We'll be right back.